A Course in Miracles, Part 2 of the Workbook for Students. Section 3, What is the World? The world is false perception. It is born of error and it has not left its source. It will remain no longer than the thought that gave it birth is cherished. When the thought of separation has been changed to one of true forgiveness, will the world be seen in quite another light, and one which leads to truth, where all the world must disappear and all its errors vanish. Now its source has gone and its effects are gone as well. The world was made as an attack on God. It symbolizes fear. And what is fear except love's absence? Thus the world was meant to be a place where God could enter not and where his Son could be apart from him. Here was perception born, for knowledge could not cause such insane thoughts. But eyes deceive and ears hear falsely. Now mistakes become quite possible, for certainty has gone. The mechanisms of illusion have been born instead, and now they go to find what has been given them to seek. Their aim is to fulfill the purpose which the world was made to witness and make real. They see in its illusions but a solid base where truth exists, upheld apart from lies. Yet everything that they report is but illusion which is kept apart from the truth. As sight was made to lead away from truth, it can be redirected. Sounds become the call for God, God and all perception can be given a new purpose by the one whom God appointed Savior to the world. Follow his light and see the world as he beholds it. Hear his voice alone in all that speaks to you, and let him give you peace and certainty, which you have thrown away, but heaven has preserved for you in him. Let us not rest content until the world has joined our changed perception. Let us not be satisfied until forgiveness has been made complete. And let us not attempt to change our function. We must save the world, for we who made it must behold it through the eyes of Christ, that what was made to die can be restored to everlasting life. Amen.